welcome tonight's guest. He gets hand-me-downs from a Keebler elf, comedian Tyler Fisher. <laughs> California and 13 other states at least. No ID required. And now Governor Newsom is fighting to keep it that way. Yeah. Tyler, I have to ask you, because I always ask the same question, what do you think Trump would say about this? Well, hey, first of all, Greg, we're wearing like the exact same outfit. That's true. I knew I saw you in Oshkosh Bagosh last week. I didn't want to <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. Well, he would say, first of all, you know, <laughs> you can have your penis out. <laughs> you can't have a gun, but you could have your penis out open carry in California, which is really a shame. But Gavin Newsom, right? Gavin yeah. Newsom. He's the poor man's Obama. <laughs> you ever notice that? He's just doing an Obama impression. Yeah. Because Obama kind of does the rapper sort of thing like that. Yeah. <laughs> and Gavin does it a little creepier. Yes. <laughs> Yes. That's what I realized. If you talk really slow, you can say absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. But people go, oh, yeah. it's like watching ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> but what a failure. I'll end with that. What a failure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Politico lingers on candidates' fingers and defend Waltz's wide eyes as they claim beards are for bad guys. Tyler, speaking of beards, and I mean the one on your face, not the one that you hang out with. Um, <laughs> Is it the shirt? Yeah, it's the shirt. <laughs> For a little guy, you got a lot of hair, though, I gotta say. Well, it's my leg here that I glue on. <laughs> so, it's like a Politico, little marmot. <laughs> some hack at Politico writes this piece on the body language from the debate, claiming that it speaks volumes. Yeah, it says that Waltz lost, but they, they, it, one of them at Politico says it's like Waltz's wide eyes showed his passion and emotional intensity. Can we show that? There is his wide eyes. <laughs> That humans would widen their eyes to convey that danger is close. <laughs> what emotion are you getting from that? Sorry. Still... <laughs> that was every. First of all, Tim Waltz very much looked burdened by what has not been <laughs> and what will never be. It, it, he had that face like a cop pulled him over and he just realized he had heroin in his pocket. Yeah. <laughs> Don't move. Where am I? The debate? Oh, where am I? The debate? Uh, yeah. Body language is, it's everything. I mean, it's everything. You have to look calm. And look, see, look what you're, you're doing a little bit. You look yeah. calm, relaxed. I am. It's why when I'm making love to a woman, you want to do, you know, no, listen. Yeah. Take notes. It's a theory. It's a theory. <laughs> Hypothetical. You want to be calm. You want to be calm and you want to do minimal uh, movements. I, it's why I do uh, in bed what's called the Mitch McConnell, where I just kind of... <laughs> and then she'll pick up and she'll end up doing most of the work. <laughs> Write that down, Tim Waltz. You are truly a Casanova. Are you mad, though, Tyrus, that, like, beards have been kind of co-opted by beta males like Tyler? Oh, God. <laughs> no, because they... Watch what you say. It's like all... Of Wait, hold on. Watch what I say. <laughs> I will f around, stick my hand up your back, and make you my puppet for the rest Sorry. of the show. <laughs> Please the milk, and you will answer for me. <laughs> but that angry outburst had nothing to do with my beard. Yeah. <laughs> well, Waltz's expression throughout the entire time did not convey steadiness. No. Like almost like unsteady weirdness. Like a yes. three, he's, he could have been one of the three stooges, just like. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was I, like, I, again, for an I, anvil to I fall go back to yeah. Boots, our video of the day comes to us from Hung Cow. Uh, so yeah. Hung Cow is a Trump endorsed retired Navy captain who's running for Senate in Virginia. At a debate last night against Tim Kaine, the topic of anemic military recruitment numbers arose. Roll it, Hung. When you're using a uh, you know, drag queen to recruit for the Navy, that's not the people we want. Look, what, what we need is alpha males and alpha females who are going to rip out their own guts, eat them, and ask for seconds. That, those are young men and women that are going to win wars. 
yeah, I saw Trump's response to it. But, I, you know, frankly, we don't we used to say, sir, yes, sir. And now we're going to be saying queen. Yes, queen. <laughs> we're going to have to call Kim Jong and say we need a list of everybody's pronouns because we don't want to misgender. <laughs> we'll be replacing bullets with glitter and <laughs> the front lines will be twerking, Greg. It'll be twerking. <laughs> Front I don't know. I, I, I'm a sensitive to this because I do, I do drag. I'm a um, man dressed as a boy right now. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I have the beard mostly to keep pedophiles away. Yeah. <laughs> if they get me from the back, they feel my face. They go, oh, they go, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> uh, Uncow. A new study finds that many Americans suffer from Sunday scaries. Mm -hmm. That means feeling anxious or dread about the upcoming week. Tyler, you're an organized little chap. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no, but I mean, you, you have a certain code that you live by. How do you frame your day so that you don't have anxiety? I'm always curious about that. Well, not about you in general. I could care less. <laughs> but I'm just curious in general. <laughs> well, this, yeah, I'm a stand-up comedian, you know, and I am on tour, TylerFisher.com. You can get tickets. But uh, it's hard for me to complain, to be like, ah, I got to be up by 7 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> I got to tell <laughs> jokes from 8 to 9, <laughs> be in bed by 10, and do it all over again. Mm -hmm. This is the most job job I have, is doing Greg Gutfeld's show once a month, so... <laughs> I can't be like, oh, 29 days from now, I gotta work from <laughs> five to six. Greg's gonna be wearing the same clothes as me. <laughs> you just turned into Trump there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> if exactly. you just enjoy where you're at in the moment, then Sunday's amazing. Yeah, also be drugs and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do drugs or alcohol. No, I overdosed on Flintstone vitamins once last week. <laughs> But I took the Fred, Fred's big. I took two Freds. Those yeah. are the big ones. Don't do two of those. Yeah. Unless you live in California. Oh my God. That's funny. During a recent podcast interview, Men in Black director Barry Sonnenfeld revealed that Will Smith farted on set. It was so potent, it caused a three-hour evacuation. It does say something, Tyler, about perhaps his diet, if, uh, if a fart is that lethal. Have you had any experiences in this situation? Um, well, I eat baby food, so I don't have a lot of issues with that. <laughs> but man, if I knew, if we knew he had such a weaponized uh, gas chamber, he, we could have prevented the whole Chris Rock thing. Yes. He could have been like, keep my wife's mouth out of your body. Just, uh, just, just went right, just, you know, just shot one at him. And then, you know. It is like a superpower. It is a superpower. He's like, he is fart man. And, uh, you know, there is such thing. Women don't, women's fart, that's, that, that's why it's so, your story's so interesting because I've yet to smell a fart coming from a woman in my entire life. And I had three older sisters. You don't, you don't actually not fart, do you? We don't have anuses. <laughs> fact check, fact check. <laughs> yeah. I, I can tell you, because I'm so short, I'm making eye contact with with women's butts usually. Yes. So I can confirm there's something going on over there. Yeah. <laughs> they, if, they have to, if they leave the room, that's a tell. That's why they're always leaving the room. They're, they're always, always breaking up room. with me. The only way you can out this secret is when you have a daughter. Yes. Because the daughter will get the mom to relax, and the two of them will synchronize their... They're farts. They synchronize it. Yeah. Moats Farts Symphony, they call it. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Emily Campagno, Tyler Fisher, Catch a Toast. Our studio audience. Fox News tonight with Jimmy Chase Gallagher. Next time, Greg Gaffo.